You are listening to the JJ Podcast. Holly, has there been a time when um, when you were reporting abroad and you were accused of doing uh, certain things that are not, you know, not fall under objective uh, reporting, as in they perhaps might have accused you of being belonging to a certain entity or you're performing uh, intelligence gathering or whatnot? I mean, I read this story just uh, mm-hmm. that happened a couple of days ago where a, a journalist uh, got detained uh, because you know, they accuse him of committing some sort of espionage yeah. um, and he'll be detained. I mean, it happens him. all the time, oh, all boy. the time. Every oh, country you go to, they think you're a spy, especially in Afghanistan and the Middle East. Yeah. Um, I've been detained three times by the Taliban, um, all for nonsense reasons of, yes, they think you're a spy. And, and it's just, it's part and parcel with what it is, unfortunately. Um, and there's really no way of getting around it. And it's, it's a very dangerous claim, but for some reason, somehow it's been so embedded in the cultural lexicon and of a lot of places that, um, all journalists are spies or all journalists are, are working for someone that they're not working for. And so it is, it's, it's an unfortunate reality that, and it, it, it's an unfortunate reality that journalists just have to face and you have to be prepared to deal with when you're going into these places, you are going to deal with those accusations. Um, and they're very hard to say, look, I'm not, <laughs> you can't really prove yourself, you know? Yeah. So you just have to be surrounded by the right people. Um, have all your, you know, your, uh, permissions and things in line. Mm -hmm. Um, And again, it's really hard when you're working also in a place like Syria where many of us had to kind of go in um, illegally because of what was happening and and visas not being allowed. So it is tricky and it's certainly a risk that you go into and you just have to um, have the best sort of team and and people around you to try to avoid that happening as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And and it's, yeah, you have to deal with it because it will happen no matter where you are it will happen. Yeah. And I think in those scenarios, I mean, well, obviously even in in scenarios when you're not being detained, when you're performing your work, I mean, what's missing, one of the things that are missing is, you know, the ability to call 911. I mean, how do you, how do you deal with that knowing that there might not be an entity that's going to protect you or come save you when you're, when things, you know, uh, when things go outside of you know the plan you have to just accept really that you have chosen to be here that this is a choice that Mm. nobody forced you to be here you made the decision to get on that plane or whatever it may be and and take yourself to this particular country or part of the world um so you have to first of all just take responsibility for yourself in that way um it's important to stay calm i don't think it does any good to sort of panic or, or become hysterical but um, but I think that you have to, again, always be working with a good local on the ground. That's always been a really key thing for me. Um, journalists, we have what we call fixes in different countries and those fixes. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the JJ podcast. Be sure to share it with all your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel.